What the heck is a sales funnel? A funnel is used to take a large volume of something and condense it into something smaller. I think everyone has seen a funnel at some point in their life. Businesses that actually know what they're doing apply the same method to their sales process by converting a percentage of leads into sales. Before the internet, business owners placed their info in the yellow pages and gave out business cards just hoping to convert a percentage of those prospects into sales. It didn't always work. They paid way too much money on radio ads and bought ad space in newspapers, but they also made the mistake of sending people to a phone number and not a funnel. Lots of lead generation tactics driving mass amounts of people towards a phone number in hopes of sales. Then came the internet. What do you think replaced the yellow pages, the biz card swaps, the newspaper ads, etc.? Hmm? Websites, social media, Google search engine, text message advertising, more options, more leads, more sales, woohoo! The internet became the best way to funnel people into a business and convert them into customers. Which brings us to... How do you convert internet prospects into customers? By giving them something they want or need. If you can give them something for free, they can give you their email address, name, and we can even follow them around the web. When you give them something that they can't resist in exchange for their email, it's called a lead magnet. If you have done your research and know what their problem is, you can provide the solution in something as simple as a free or cheap PDF download. That PDF was the bait that trapped them into your business. Now you can email them, target them on social media, watch their behavior, and get in front of them until they buy your products or complete an action requested by you. When I map these out in a blueprint, my funnel actually goes from left to right, since that is how I read. So let's go build some funnels, shall we? Okay, welcome to Lucidchart. I love this tool, and you guys have my link to this Lucidchart. If you do sign up, there's a free option, which is what I started with. And then I, get back here, ended up signing up for the $60 per year plan. It comes out to like $59.60, so it's your choice. You can sign up for the free version while you play around with this. And if you really get great at it and you want to use it in your business, your agency, your life, and you want more bells and whistles, then it's really cheap. It comes out to about $5 per month, and I bought it for the year. So just to let you know that the link I gave you is my affiliate link. If you do buy anything through my affiliate links, I make a few extra pennies. Um, but these are software platforms that I use in my agency. So I'm not just throwing something at you. I literally use this for my leads, my clients, my sales team, my veteran charities. So this is exactly what I use. I want to open this and show you what a basic funnel looks like. The actual structure of a funnel because that might help you understand the internet and how you organize the internet and build funnels okay so you'll see there's a gray bar at the top that's my personal method for just naming the funnel because when you have a big document with five six ten fifteen funnels in it those big gray bars just stand out and you'll see that in a minute so I just name my funnel or my area by that big gray bar and I'll show you how to actually draw these a very simple funnel has two or three pages. Page one, page two, maybe a calendar page. So let's use the example of a chiropractor, okay? Let's say we are directing a bunch of leads through all of these, all or some of these pink rectangles on the left, which are considered lead generation, okay? You can Snapchat and tell people, Go to this link and it lands them on the funnel, the first page of the funnel. You can have your website saying, get my free PDF. 
and when they do they enter your funnel your Facebook page your Facebook group your Facebook ads your Google ads your LinkedIn posts your Instagram posts, your Twitter posts, your YouTube videos in the description you should always be pointing towards your funnel okay so when you make your first funnel and you get it ready now you understand where all these things come into play that were sorry that's my phone that were getting overwhelming on the internet you know um, many chats and sales channels and interviews and podcasts and your email list it makes sense that once you have your sales funnel set up then you can go back and direct all these activity marketing networks to your funnel so let's get into this a little bit let's say a chiropractor wants to give away a free adjustment in order to get new customers they would have a landing page that would offer a coupon but in order to get that free adjustment coupon the person looking at it would have to enter their email address and phone number and their first name to get the coupon right then and there the chiropractor has just grabbed their contact information they have also tracked them through Facebook if they're using a Facebook ad they've also tracked them through Google Analytics and we can follow them around the web once somebody gets that free coupon and clicks the submit button it would take them to the second page of a funnel and it would say hey thanks go check your email for that coupon that's going to be arriving in the next 5 10 15 minutes and in the meantime if you schedule your appointment we'll also throw in X Y and Z maybe a chiropractic massage uh, maybe a free x-ray whatever the chiropractor is giving away and you could either just put your phone number here on the second page or you could even direct them to a scheduler online okay so this is a very simple sales funnel a landing page and a thank you page and a second call to action and there can be emails that will follow after the reader submits their form there can be emails that continue introducing your company or yourself to the subscriber to the lead and so this is just a very basic blueprint uh, of a sales funnel we do white boxes for the landing pages yellow boxes for emails green clouds so we know which software we actually built it in or integrated it with and then pink boxes for all of our lead generation so let's go back over to a brand new blueprint and start building one okay I'm going to click on a new document and it's going to open up blank okay and I'm going to show you how easy it is to draw a sales funnel so you've got a blank canvas here it's got a grid similar to engineering paper and I literally use these three boxes or four the most the arrow to and I drag a box over somewhere doesn't matter all this stuff can move and your page keeps expanding and I make the gray outline okay so I name this funnel and let's say this funnel is going to be just an email opt-in in exchange for um, a free PDF okay something that you're giving away in your business um, I own a digital marketing agency so in my business I might give away um, some of this funnel instruction I might be giving away a checklist I might be giving away a video uh, if you entered through my website then you are in the funnel right now seeing what I'm giving you for free okay so I'm just gonna make this gray because color coding helps me and now I'm going to say okay well I want to direct them from my website I know that so I'm gonna put over here that this is website header okay and for me personally everything that I do for a lead generation tactic I put in pink then I know I'm going to have to direct people to landing page one and it's going to be an email opt-in for the PDF that I'm giving away and I'm just going to grab this little circle and draw an arrow personally I like the rounded arrows they make me happy 
And then I'm just going to say, okay, well, after someone has opted in for that PDF, I have to land them on a thank you page. So the second page, LP for landing page two, or you can just say thank you page, um, you know, gives them, tells them to go check your email. So I'm doing a little bit of thought process here as I'm doing the blueprint. Go check your email. And then I put a little line sometimes if I want the second thing to be call to action, number two, CTA. Um, and so in the meantime, it might say, you know, the, the PDF is going to arrive in your email in 15 minutes. In the meantime, check this video out, okay? Which I think is what I did on mine. Um, and again, I just draw an arrow so we know that that leads them to that. Um, and then there might be another... Um, another call to action but in this case it's just very simple it's an opt-in and a thank you page and go do the next thing okay um, now what we do is we also build funnels that work together but before I go there if you remember a green cloud means software and a lot of times in my world uh, for my for my own personal needs I'm building in a software called ClickFunnels which I've also given you the link for and da, 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 these are green for me that stands out um, if I want to have some emails that are following up after someone has signed up and subscribed and got their freebie then I would map out the email sequence um, you know maybe it's an indoctrination series explaining to them uh, who I am what my business is um, why why it's good to follow me or to to consume my stuff because I want to be really helpful and I want to get a, give a lot of value for free okay so once you map this out um, then you go build it you don't do anything in pink on the left before you've built your funnel build your funnel first get funnel number one done I can't stress that enough because people on the internet get so distracted with oh but I want to go create a YouTube video don't do it till you build your funnel oh but I want I'm thinking about starting this Facebook group don't do it till you build your funnel oh but I want to go you know I want to I got a great idea for an email or a blog post don't do it till you build your funnel because where are all those things gonna go to where are you gonna send the readers of your blog post to well in the bottom of the blog post which should be about whatever your free PDF is about you're going to give them a link to the funnel okay and when you do your YouTube video and you have that description okay there's a reason there's a description in the description you're gonna say wow did you like my video you want some more of that stuff you want my free PDF click here and it takes them to the funnel okay this should be clearing up the internet for you people that get so distracted about all the options guess what all the options go on the left hand side after you've built your funnel build your two-step funnel and start building your email list start building from the foundation up then you get to go back and do all this fun stuff on the left hand side in the pink called lead generation okay so that's a super basic funnel but if I wanted to build the next funnel that goes with this I'm just gonna copy everything and I'm gonna put it right next to it I'm gonna draw a line that says this one actually works with this one and I'm gonna go in and say alright so if I gave away a free PDF and then it said check this video well maybe that video is is a short two or five minute video that now upsells your um, your offer say a tripwire okay there's there's a few different names for uh, the tripwire it's also called a self liquidating offer okay you've got an audience that's growing here because you actually built your first funnel and now you want to put something else in their hands that instead of being free is now maybe seven dollars maybe it's seventeen dollars maybe it's thirty seven dollars 
um, but it's something that can start bringing you money because you've already warmed up your audience a little bit by giving them something free and now you want to give them something that is um, related to that free PDF so in my example I have a funnel checklist right which <laughs> is a godsend in my agency because for those of you that run agencies or even run businesses you need a checklist for something so you don't have to think through the process every single time you do it so in my world if I'm building a funnel there's like 50 to 100 things that I have to remember to do and my team has to remember to do and rather than remember it we put it in a checklist in our project management system well I wasn't able to go buy that checklist from anyone I had to create it myself so now that I've created that checklist it's worth money to other funnel builders so I think I can't even remember what I sell it for isn't that terrible let's say it's $19 my team said it all up um, so now this is going to be landing page one um, and it's actually going to be an order form for the checklist okay so it's gonna be a little bit different than just an email opt-in it's actually gonna be an order form with a nineteen dollar product so that people can learn about the checklist see the benefits of having the checklist and then buy the checklist so on landing page two it would be again an order confirmation like a thank you order confirmation page right they're gonna get the checklist in their email but in the meantime you want to take them to your next baby funnel. All these little baby funnels add up to one mama funnel. So maybe the next one is check out our webinar. Okay. So let's see. Since this is a checklist, yes, I could put uh, the checklist on my website, but uh, probably not going to um, put all this into. Um, into lead generation because really this page is directing people to that page okay so you can you I could say go get my funnel checklist and just send it out to cold traffic I could um, but I'd rather people go through the first funnel first and then make it to the the checklist okay and now since I want to direct them to a webinar I'm going to move this over here and the page will expand. And if this funnel is going to be an auto webinar for some free training, webinar free training, okay? Um, this is going to be landing page one, is going to be a webinar registration page because people need to actually register for the webinar and leave their name and pick a date and time they want to attend um, and then landing page two would be a webinar confirmation or registration confirmation you just call it confirmation okay and then the next call to action could be something else but I don't want to go that far I just want to give you the three baby ones um, that make up one big funnel. Now let's say that, I'm gonna use my example, um, this whole process, this whole mama funnel is all about learning funnels, which is the funnel that you're in right now. Um, and so my mama funnel is called the funnel foundation formula, okay? And that means I could put more baby funnels on the end. Maybe I want to send someone to an event. Maybe I want someone to buy my course, which is another funnel. So all these funnels stack to create your customer's experience and the journey throughout your whole business. Okay, you can do this as a salesperson. You can do this as a chiropractor, a gym, a virtual assistant company. You should do this for any business that you're wanting to get leads from the internet. Um, I want to show you an example of a blueprint that was built for an existing client and then I'm going to show you the landing pages that match. Okay, here's a basic two-step funnel for a chiropractor. 
they were giving away a $27 or $29 adjustment package plus console exam reported findings. And then on the thank you page, if you call before the timer runs out, we'll give you an additional service, an x-ray on your first appointment. And there's a countdown timer. Very simple. Two steps. And we had some Facebook ads running that drove people to the funnel. So let's just open this page so you can see what it looks like. Super simple. Background image. Facebook testimonials. Some basic information. Give me my coupon. Add your information and then it takes you to the second page and I apologize if you can hear thunder in the background here's that 15 minute timer um, and it gets the phone ringing okay so it's the second call to action on the thank you page and they also have their scheduler embedded in here this is all code from their scheduler so that people can um, book their appointment right away while they're on this funnel and you can see that we have ads linked in here it's just hyperlinked just like you'd link text on a website um, and these were ads that drove people to that funnel so that's your basic funnel instruction I don't want to get too crazy because there's a lot to learn but if you have any questions let me know join the Facebook group get a ton of answers and I'll see you next time.